Hello, in this video we will see all the news about Rhino Nest for Grasshopper 0.4. To know these news we will use two samples. The first one is a very simple sample, is a 2D nesting, and one of the most important things in this new version is the multi-sheet support. Okay? Now when we drag our Rhino Nest control we will see that by default is the multi-sheet control. Then, how we can do a nesting? You can find a lot of videos in rhinonest.com, but here we will talk a little bit about how to use it. Then, very simple. First of all, we need to select the geometry to nest. Select multiple geometries. Okay, we can select curves, we can select polylines, solids, meshes, surfaces, all that you want. Okay. And the second step is to find the sheet, okay, where you want to uh, place the objects. Then select, and we select this one. Okay, really simple. Then we double click and start to calculate the nesting. Here we have different input values, okay. The first one is geometry value. Okay, they obviously want to nesting. The second and the third are items to items distance and items to sheet distance. The sheet geometry. Here we have the time. Okay, what is the maximum time that we allow to Rhino Nest to calculate? The rotation of the objects. Okay, what is the rotation? We allow to do it free. We allow to define 90 degrees. Okay. The criterion. What is the criterion we want to use to do the nesting? the tolerance, okay, and also the text size, okay, because automatically add text, then you can define the text size, okay. Then here we have the nesting, automatically add all the sheets that Rhino Nest needs to place all the objects, okay. This is the most simple way to do the nesting, okay. Uh, obviously, you have controls to define uh, the object freedom, okay, if you want to add object freedom if you want to define for example here you have the criterion of the nesting okay here you have all the options let me move it here to see it better okay all the criterion that we want to use and then we can click it here we can connect here okay and very simple by default, the maximum time is 10 seconds. I recommend you that if you are using for a, for a, for a production project, add more time, okay, because as more time run on S, uh, calculate better will be the result, okay. And let me define free or 90 degrees is okay. Double click. And now it's calculating again. Obviously, each time that you modify a parameter, needs to recalculate again uh, because the results and the possibilities are completely different. Okay. Then, in the output, we have six values. The first one is the geometry, the nested geometry. Okay. Uh, we have the log. Okay. The log show us uh, the result. Okay. Uh, about for example, if you don't define the sheet or something like that, and you double click, the log will explain you, okay, you must to select a sheet, okay? Uh, the third option is unused geometry, okay? For example, if you have big objects, bigger than the, than the sheet, uh, you will have these objects here, because it's not possible to place an object bigger than the sheet, okay? Uh, all the sheets, geometries, okay? Let me, let me define here, okay? All the IDs, Okay, the IDs are the curves to identify the objects. Okay, here it's very uh, small because it's one millimeter, but we can define 10 millimeters. Or... Okay, it's really, really small. Okay. Then the last one is the report. Okay, the report show us uh, these values. Okay, looks like a little bit strange, <laughs> but here you have a uh, report of the results is the first value is number of sheet, okay, is a one. Number of objects per sheet is 25. The area, okay, and uh, the maximum height, okay. This object we are using cores, and then uh, obviously the maximum 
haze is zero, but if you use 3D objects, it will ex tell you what is the minimum thickness that you need to use to, to cut these objects. Okay? And obviously here uh, is a list of strings, you can parse and do what you think, or here you have the option to split that value. Okay? You can get the control report, okay, and add this report, and also the sheet, okay, and here you have, okay, all the percentage of objects, okay, 63%, okay, here the area, okay, here you have the values of the area, uh, here the objects per sheet, okay, in the first one was 23, uh, 25, 20 for the second, okay, and so on, and the maximum height in this case always is zero, okay. I think now we can think about how we want to do the nesting, modify the values, see the results, okay? And remember, it's extremely important that you define uh, uh, not just 10 seconds, okay? In 10 seconds, it's really complex to find good solutions, okay? Well, this is not so bad, okay? But obviously, it's better if you define one minute, okay? Great, then let me, let me show you other sample. Uh, we define a new, f okay, and I drag this file, and now here we have a 3D geometry, okay, and we execute again Grasshopper, great, then we drag the control, and uh, take a look, for example, to this is the object definition control, Okay, because imagine that you want to find different groups of objects and you want to say, okay, this group I want, the priority will be uh, higher than the other group, I want to define a different uh, object criterion or rotation freedom different for, for groups, okay? Then you can define uh, several controls, okay? And then join it to do the nesting, okay? In this case, we will use one. And, okay, we have the nesting we have the objects and one thing we can do is uh, come here and define let me define an integer and edit values okay the copies will be from 1 to 100 okay great then we connect to copies okay here we have geometry copies rotation priority, okay, I want to place this object first than the other objects, an object criterion, okay, good, then uh, to do the nesting, we need to define the sheet, here by curve, you can define by uh, two points or by size, okay, but, okay, we use that, that. great, and uh, here we have, not a problem, but the objects are in 3D and is not placed on flat and then I cannot cut that then here we have the remap functionality okay it's this one great then the idea is we can uh, okay remap we can select this geometry and automatically place it okay Okay, simple, right? Then, now, I can get these remapped objects and connect to object criterion and define, okay, I want to use, I don't know, 14 copies, okay, uh, in rotation, okay, in this case, it's exactly the same if we connect here or we connect here, okay. We select rotation, and we will choice. Uh, yeah, ninety is okay because these objects are really square. Okay, great. Then uh, fourteen copies. Okay, and let's go. Double click and start to calculate the nesting. Uh, just a point. Okay, uh, it's if you click and you don't see any result. Most of the times you need to select the sheet. Okay, select great then now double click and start to calculate okay I think I think it's it's 
really really simple it's really important to to think about uh, uh, try to help to run on s okay in this case it doesn't make sense that we use free rotation for example okay because all the objects are really okay uh, then here we have the result oh okay nice let me check the report okay we come to report and okay here you have the values okay just to check it okay great then 127 objects in the first 55 in the second okay and then I will split that because I want to use the sheet percentage okay then to see this sheet percentage I need to add this one and then in the first one I had 20 uh, so, sorry 74 uh, percent 70 percent in, in the second okay great remember increase the time okay 10 seconds is not enough okay but to understand how it works I think it did okay okay just the last thing is uh, here we have the option to reduce polylines using the Douglas Peuker uh, algorithm uh, why this is important okay because if you optimize the number of points of a polyline to do the nesting obviously you are uh, making easy okay to run on S and the result it's better okay here you have the algorithm okay it's really really easy I don't do any sample just enter the geometry any geometry okay and the tolerance and that's it okay then I hope you enjoy uh, using Rhino Nest for Grasshopper. Any doubt, any requirement, uh, any question, please uh, let us know. Thank you very much.